You're watching ESPN's Feast Week, presented by Lowe's. Another beautiful day here in the islands as we welcome you to Lahaina on the island of Maui. For the Maui Gym, Maui Invitational. This outstanding early season college basketball tournament is packing them in here at the Lahaina Civic Center. And what a matchup we've got for you right now in the first of two semifinals. The Creighton Blue Jays ranked 10th. The Arkansas Razorbacks ranked 9th in the nation. Both coming off impressive wins in the first round yesterday. Amazing we could wrangle Phyllis inside on a day like this, but we've got some good games. And San Diego State, Arizona still to come. Four ranked teams have made their way into the semifinals here in Maui. And welcome Dan Shulman and Jay Billis. Glad you were along with us. Boy, were these two teams impressive yesterday. Let's start with Arkansas. Anthony Black just had a phenomenal game for the Hall. Boy, Anthony Black is such a good player. At six assists, 26 points, a couple of steals in that ball game against Louisville. Went 9 of 11 from the field. Got out in transition. Great hesitation move. He can shoot it from the perimeter. And more importantly, he can see over defenses. And that's going to be important against Creighton, who's got a number of versatile defenders. Anthony Black can absolutely Absolutely play, but it's going to take more than just Anthony Black to beat an excellent Creighton team. An excellent Creighton team that has as well-rounded and talented a starting five, I think, as any team in the nation. Four of them are on national watch lists. You know, you would say that Arkansas has more athleticism, but not by much. This is an athletic Blue Jays team. Ryan Nemhard never turns the ball over. Baylor Shireman, one of the best passers, an outstanding rebounder. And Arthur Kaluma can guard anybody on the floor. And taking a look at Ryan Nemhard there. 29 assists, four turnovers on the season, and that's going to be a key in this ball game because Creighton cannot turn the ball over and fuel Arkansas in transition and let these athletes get out and run. It is just the third time in Blue Jays history they've been involved in a top 10 matchup. They are 0-2. It is the 24th time in Razorbacks history they've been involved in a top 10 matchup. They are 9 and 14. These are two really, really good teams and two teams, Mr. Billis, who travel exceptionally well. This place is rocking right now. It is loud and it's going to get even louder. Both these fan bases are primed for this game. This is one of the games. This is one of the games that reminds you, Dan, of March. And it's one of the, those games that we're going to be talking about for the entire year. Yeah, we hope it comes across as well on TV as it does in person. This gym holds about 2,400 people. There's at least that many in here right now. It'll be the Razorbacks in white and the Blue Jays in blue. Up note, Ryan Colquhoun of the outstanding center for Creighton, who rolled his left angle, not ankle, not once, but twice in yesterday's game, is out there and in the starting lineup for the Blue Jays. Paul Sells, Lee Cassell, and Randy Richardson getting us underway with the opening tip, and it belongs to the Hogs. South Dakota State, he had a dozen in their win yesterday. Nemhard from the corner, and Creighton strikes first. Boy, what a smart play by Ryan Nemhard. Caroms off a couple of legs to Kaluma. Now that shows what a, a good shot changer Ryan Kalkbrenner is. He just walls up and makes you shoot over him. Alexander with a soft touch on a fadeaway baseline jumper. Alexander had 17 points against Texas. That play, what a terrific play by Anthony Black. See, they're trying to keep Arkansas is trying to keep Creighton to a side. You let them get to the other side, they are so dangerous. Call printer down with a rebound off the Nemhard miss. And the corner three for Nemhard is second of the game. So he's got great feet. Just finds that three point. Maui Jim Maui invitation. Tried to get an initial post for Kaluma. Shireman. One, he's got a chance for a four-point play. Off to Mikel Mitchell, who had a nice game yesterday. And Arkansas's win over Louisville couldn't knock that down. Hulk Brenner with the finish at the rim. First thing that Mikel Mitchell has to do is run to the rim to pick up. And a two-handed rebound brought down by Shireman. 
And Shireman is such a good rebounder. He just has a, a sense for where the ball's coming off and always goes to the glass. 6'6 six, six wing who does a lot of different things, helps you a lot of different ways. Look at that. What a beautiful feed from Shireman into Kalkbrenner, and it's a timeout, Arkansas. Absolutely. I mean, it, it is hard when you're trying to close out to stay down on shot fakes. They're effective against experienced players, let alone inexperienced players. Black with a layup to make it a six-point game. And that take by Anthony Black was big time. I mean, there was a ton of contact, and he went right through it. You can see Debo Davis trying to keep Ryan Nembhard on the right side of the floor, but Brazil's got to get up higher than that. You can't be in drop coverage. you got to be up higher. And you're getting a, a pretty good look early on in this game at the depth that Creighton has. They can sub and they don't really take a big step down. Turn around, fade away there for Shireman. I think he's an NBA player. Paluma wants a ball screen, goes the other way. Shireman free behind Polk Brenner for three. That's great action. When Polk Brenner was in drop coverage there, it's still able to bother that shot. So far, Arkansas has turned Creighton into more of a dribble team than a passing team. Alexander over the top for Kalkbrenner. Pretty. So good. Hey. Numbers. What a pass. Shireman into Kalkbrenner. Kalkbrenner puts so much pressure on your transition a shot. Creighton just does a great job of recovering to get back in front. Alexander with a jump stop and a finish, and the lead grows to eight. Sudden, you got Baylor Shireman getting out to the three-point line. Brazil's open for three, and still nothing doing from beyond the arc for Arkansas. And another rebound for Baylor Shireman. Nemhard coast to coast. <laughs> Little handoff. Davis can't get the runner to go, though. And the Creighton fans are loving what they're getting out of their Blue Jays right now. Mitchell led the Atlantic 10 in block shots last year. He was really good against Louisville yesterday. Came in off the bench, gave great minutes to Eric Musselman. And had 12 points, six rebounds, and a couple of blocks in 20 minutes. Alexander. Nice English off the glass. Yeah, what a great throwback. First 20 minutes, and I think we could expect much of the same in the second 20 minutes. And we're expecting much of the same in our second semifinal a little bit later on. San Diego State and Arizona still to come here from now. Shireman with a nice look to Kaluma, who was had some foul trouble in the first half, didn't play all that much, and he gets on the board right away. Now he can take it one-on-one. -on -one. You can isolate him. I think you'll see more of that in the second half. Eric Musselman finding a matchup he likes and going after him. Into double figures now with 10. Alexander working hard. And a chance for a three-point play. Nemhard slips. Ball's loose. Belongs to Davis. No look. Bounce pass for Sill. And it's stripped by Kaluma. What a spectacular block. He would normally be the guy on Anthony Black. Carabello free in the corner. The first bench points of the game for the Blue Jays. Flips it in. Wait, it's so hard to get a shot up over Kalkbrenner. He does such a good job of walling up and using his chest, keeping his arms straight up and his elbows behind his ears. Council with 12 in the second half and a game high 20 in the game. Davis hounding Shireman in the corner. He's got size. Gets the shot off and hits. That was an NBA play. He knew he had Davis. You can't find a hole in his game. He's got everything. Plays with pace. Just a great handle. An outstanding passer. Shireman off the screen. 
Now creates a little space. Step back jumper is good. Okay, last year, they'll line up. Another rejection for Kalkbrenner. The Big East Defensive Player of the Year a year ago, Kaluma. A beautiful find again, and Creighton extends. Won't go. Good job by Shireman to get there. And now with Alex Ovo, how wow. deep is that? Oh, my goodness. Deep, deep range for Baylor Shireman. That was from Mullen. Players love this because they don't have to go through practice as much. They can just wake up and play. It's awesome. That put Shireman, get him isolated. Kaluma, long reach, good touch. Straight by three. And the game. Backdoor cut, Shireman runs down the pass. And still lots of time. Nemhard. Whoa! A key matchup is Devo Davis on Baylor Shireman. Shireman is bigger. He can take him down into the post. Tough catch in traffic, and a reverse slam for Kalkbrenner. Well, he just discarded him 8 for 10 from the line on the season. Two shots. You make this as a, obviously a two-possession game. So Arkansas doesn't need to have a three. Just get it to the rim as quickly as possible. And if you draw the defense and can kick it out for a step in three, then take it. Four-point lead. And Davis can run the baseline here. To Black. 50-footer. And Creighton wins an unbelievable basketball game here in Lahaina. It's hard to imagine more of a high-level contest than this. Just a spectacular basketball game by two teams that are capable of reaching Houston. Two great teams in a great basketball game. Time now for our play of the game brought to you by Tommy Bahama. Ryan Nemhard, Jay, is the choice. Well, Ryan Nemhard was just spectacular. Career high 25 points. A floor general just did everything. And, and that dunk he had, just awesome. Just a fantastic performance by Creighton and equally fantastic by Arkansas. Great, great basketball game. More basketball coming. San Diego State and Arizona still to come. Could it be as good as this one? We certainly hope so. 90 to 87, Creighton over Arkansas for Jay Billis and our crew. I'm Dan Schulman saying thanks for joining us here in Maui. Let's send you back to the studio one more time with Seth Pons and Zubin.